First, after a violent weekend of gang-related incidents, community leaders are calling for more efforts to address the issue. NBC 15's Christy Diamond explains the push to steer kids away from gangs before they get in trouble. Madison Police Chief Mike Koval said, we're basically operating on borrowed time that no bystander was hurt in either incident this past weekend. Saturday night, shots were fired at West Town Mall, and an 18-year-old was also hurt in a shooting on Russet Road. Both of these incidents, police say, were gang-related. That's why local alders and a former gang member are calling for change. You know, what I would say to them now is, change now while you got the chance. It's a message Aaron McCarroll wishes he could tell every teen. You don't have to live that way. McCarroll grew up in a local gang and talked about it during an interview with us last month. The community needs to know that these are troubled children. He says too many guidance programs are offered only once someone is behind bars. Those programs need to be taught in the community. They need to be available to them, those resources, not in a confined setting in a setting where they can learn a difference and go out and actually do something with that difference. Alders Maurice Cheeks and Matt Fair agree more needs to be done. It's really important that we catch kids at the earliest ages rather than trying to address the problem after it's already established. They're pushing for several new initiatives like strengthening mentorship and after school programs, developing a neighborhood center and possibly expanding MPD's gang task force or violent crimes unit. To me, it's an issue that people have to acknowledge around the city. Um, we all have to kind of share some responsibility for it. They're also looking to create a gun buyback program, something Cheek says many people support. I've been really encouraged already today by the number of emails that we've gotten in the past two, three hours from folks who said, how can we help? McCarroll says it comes down to reaching out to Madison's troubled kids and letting them know there's a better way. From me to them, I would say, if you don't think that you can change, you can change a lot sooner than I did. A lot sooner. You just need to talk to someone. Now, the initiatives these alders are working on are still in the early phases, but they say it's clear now is the time to implement changes.